Fucking that bitch on my toilet. Fucking that bitch with the O's. They bit it, they bite it, they look. Hello everybody and welcome to another Remix Bikes video and today guys we are on the Stark Varga, right? The electric dirt bike, very controversial bike to be honest. A lot of people, they don't like it, more the conservative folks, some people are a little bit more progressive, they, they you know, they like the, they like the innovation. I don't really know how to feel about it. I've never seen one in IRL, I'd love to ride one at some point. I feel like I'd probably die of so much power. Um, and there's tons of different mapping options. We put it on Alpha, which is the top mapping option. It makes this bike accelerate like hell. It's absolutely insane. So we should have a chance here. The goal here is to win a Supercross race. That's really my only goal. There's pros in here. It's not going to be easy, but we'll see what we can do here. Uh, bike actually isn't that bad. Suspension's not too bad. So with that, submit that like button. Let's see if we can get a good start. I don't know what's going to happen off the gate here. Looks like we're going to get the whole shot. I did not know how the traction was going to be there, but it actually was not that bad. We will see what we can do here. Need to keep it consistent this first lap. It's always the most important thing to do because you do not want to get behind people early in Supercross. Especially when you get out front early. So keep it in nice and smooth. Got to have good throttle control. Really easy to lose the back end here, so... We're out front early, and I'd like to just extend this lead. Can we win our first race on this thing? I have to see here. Didn't hit that line, but... Ooh, death threats too right here. It's not crashed to those. Man, this thing has so much power on this mapping. It's crazy, bro. Like, you have to have really good throttle control. Over the this line's super easy, which is probably the hardest line on the track for me. So to be able to just get through it, barely even try, just barely touching the throttle is very important. But great start to this race so far. On off, triple out. A little bit of an OJ here. Gonna get through it though. The gyroscopic effect on this thing, too, is disgusting. I mean, if you want to get the front end up in the air or get it down, it is extremely easy to do. So it's definitely something to get used to, man. It's it's super fun, though. I honestly wasn't expecting the suspension to be as good as it is. I made a couple tweaks, um, kind of just the normal tweaks I make to every 450. And uh, it works really good. It works really good in the whoops, too. I'm just jumping them. That's usually my line on this track. But you can skim them and I have no problems, so... Got a six second lead here. And we're not even really pushing it. I think if we just maintain consistency, we're probably gonna get a win here. And it's all with that start, man. Start is so important in Supercross. And with how fast this bike is, I mean, I, bro, even off the gate there, like even how it accelerated, the front end didn't lift. It just powered all the way down the straight. And that's the, uh, that's the benefit of electric bikes. You don't got to shift. You don't have to use a clutch. You just straight power. And look at that. 57.2 there mid-race. That's a pretty good lap time. My fast on a 450 was on the Suzuki. I ran a 55.4, I'm pretty sure, on this track. And I don't think we'll be able to do that on this bike. I'm just not comfortable enough. But we're in con consistent 57s, 56s. That's very good lap times. That's like top pro made event pace lap times do you think this jump line is definitely causing me to lose some time but it's so consistent might as well just keep doing it but I'm surprised how just good I feel already on this bike I was not expecting this at all we got hunt in second now hunt is a main event maker okay he made main event round two I kind of sold him out in round one, to be honest. I'm kind of the reason he didn't make it. Uh, we both had terrible heat races and LCQs, so... He's a good rider, man. We cannot give up on this race so far. We can't say we've won it yet. Big gap, but a couple crashes, and he'll close that right back in. I'd like to run a 56 mid-race. Let's see if we can do that. I need to scrub a bit harder here. I've been taking it pretty... 
straight forward through these jumps. Stay low there. Stay low through here. Oh, let's skim this a little bit. Can we use this inside the rut? We can, and we're gonna get on the table. We get over this. Oh my goodness, dude. Even recovering from little mistakes on this thing is so, so easy. I mean, it's not easy to ride. Like, I'm de this is definitely pretty impressive that I'm able to do this, but... It's so just quick. Look at that. 56.7, dude. It's so quick with the power. It's very easy to be consistent on it. You don't have to worry about shifting or anything like that. You just have to worry about your line choice, be smooth on the throttle, and it just kind of carries you. I'd love to see a Stark series added to Aerial next year, maybe in Outdoors. Um, just like a little fun race thing. I don't know if anyone would want to host it, but I think it'd be pretty cool. I mean, e-bikes are looking like they're going to be the future, so... I think whatever motocross game gets a hold of that side of things first is going to be a step ahead. But this bike is, it's really fun. I mean, it's fun to ride. It's crazy how light it is in the air, dude. It's like I'm just going to loop it midair. Got one more lap, though. We got a 23 second gap. So we kind of dominated this race. Not over yet, though. Look at my analysis after this. I think we ran some really good laps. Consistently, too. This. I'm actually going to skim the whoops this time just to give it a little test. It might be a bit quicker. Let's see here. Look, I mean, it is so good in the whoops, man. I haven't tried it stock yet. I mean, I do have a setup on it. I'll show you guys the setup at the end of the video, but man, is this thing fun, dude. Holy crap. This is crazy. Gonna get the win here. I don't even think we crashed a single time. I don't know if we made even a single mistake, really. Let's look at our analysis real quick. I just want to see. I want to see the consistency here. 57, 57, 56, 57, 57. I mean, that, I mean, look at the sector times. Everything's basically identical. So, first race, pretty freaking good. Let's see if we can top that in race two, boys. All right, boys, we're back. Race number two here. I don't know how this is going to go. I mean, obviously, race one <laughs> went pretty good. I don't think it could go much better than that. I'd like to run a 55 mid race. That's like my main goal now. I ran a 56 flat in testing. There's just a couple sections you really have to push it on this bike to gain time. Everywhere else you can literally just hit the normal lines, but this bike really makes up time in a couple of these corners. Um, you can get us running really, really fast laps, so we'll see what we can do here, see if I can make this entertaining. Um, we should get this whole shot again, I guess we'll see. This bike has so much power. It's crazy. Right now, I just pull everyone. It's crazy, dude. This power slide around this corner. Oh my god, it's so fun. Cool Ranch is pretty good, so we'll see how he fares against this here. He also got Hunt still in the lobby, so... He is quick as well. Told me that he's messing with settings, though, so he's kind of... He's not 100%. Okay. Got that. Look at this. Ooh. Can clear that. Oh no. Do 360 over this. No, dude. I was hitting that like, dude, I hit that like five times in a row in testing. It was hilarious. Okay, well, now we got work to do. Okay, so I'll show you guys a couple lines here. This is the first line. Instead of double singling, you can actually triple over this. I kind of cased it there, but. Even still, we'll gain some time there. This corner you can really power out of. Didn't stay very low on that. Problem is we got some erode on the track, so I'm losing the back end a little bit more than I was in testing. I think skimming the whoops is quicker, so I think what we're going to do is double this. Double, double, and then just lean back through these. I mean, just even when the front dives, it still just recovers so easily. Case of that, it should be okay though. 
You have the power to clear it? Almost. Okay, we're actually kind of getting pulled right now by Cool Ranch. Let me quit messing around real quick. Oh god. Fire tap. We gotta race here, we gotta race. Cool Ranch is feeling racy. Can't really hit that triple because of the era in that corner. Oh. Let's not get him out of ourselves here. I wonder if I could triple single and then scrub the single enough to where I can skim the whoops. I didn't skim him that quickly though. That wasn't bad. I don't know if it's going to gain us any time though. Here's that. Scrub this. That saved a lot of time there. Scrub that. Lean back. Get on the gas. Get through the rut. Ah, oh, mess that up. The 56 7. The couple mistakes there. Not terrible. Triple. There we go. Follow this rut. Kind of missed it. Cool Ranch is moving. I don't know who that is. That's someone undercover. That's literally just Cool Ranch. The kid is not having a bad day today. He's actually riding really good. Kind of messed that up. It'll be okay. Back up. In case that would be all right, though. Suspension on this thing is so good. Woo. Cool ranch might have went down. I don't see him anymore. It looks like Hunt's in second now. I'm going for this triple. There it is. Oh, you guys see that brake tab too? Oh my goodness, dude. Steezy. Alright, well we can run a 55 here. We get a good whoops run. That's really the only thing that matters. Get around that. Scrub this double. Scrub this. And just pin it through the whoops. Oh, I messed it up a little bit. Ah, oh, dude. This freaking front end keeps diving. Next lap, next lap, for sure we got it. Oh wow. I'm making all types of mistakes. Ooh. Okay, it's a seven second gap, not huge. Those guys are battling though. Oh jeez. Get the triple. Ah, keeps that too. It's just the e roads making this extremely hard. Okay, so grease the triple, eye up this rut, get into it, scrub this double, scrub this. Oh, this front end's terrible, bro. What happened? Oh, we're getting caught. It's not good. Do the triple. We can get the triple. All right, this is this is gonna be a good race here. I think we got one more lap. Yep. Last lap. We'll see what happens here. This could be a doozy. He's behind me. Are quick. Cool Ranch gets a cut though. That's gonna hurt him. E road. I will say this bike is not good on E road. It's the biggest downfall. Nice and smooth so far, though. We're gonna go jump line just because we know that's gonna work. Oh, we hit it nice and clean, too. On, step off. We're gonna go for the 360, too, because we're gonna stun on him, bro. We gotta show him the Stark Vargas boss. 
Oh my god. No, that was so silky. Y guys, that was silk, bro. Oh my goodness. I think this, dude, the Star Park is underrated. This bike is fun, dude. No way I land that. I was about to say, bro. <laughs> that 360 was nice, bro. Oh my goodness, dude. All right, I was gonna end the video there, but now I have an itch to ride this thing a bit more. And I wanna see if I can run a 57 on this track, which would be my previous best time of like, I think a 58 flat is my previous best on this track. This is round two, San Diego or something, San Francisco. I don't know, one of the two. Um, San Francisco, I think. We're gonna see if I can beat my previous best 450 time on this bike. I didn't beat my previous best at the last track, so we'll see if we can do it here. This bike is just so fast. And I feel like in the whoops especially, if I can learn how to hit them correctly, we could really run a fast time. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know if it's much better than the Suzuki, but... Let's see what this lap time is. It's not gonna be great, but it should be like a high 58, low 59, I guess. Oh, he did the same thing I did on my first lap. Are you serious? Tuck the front in that corner. All right, we go again. I feel like this will take me three laps, and if I can't do it in three laps, then I'll, it's never going to happen. All right, outside there, fly in his face, scrub. Keep shifting, even though it's not actually doing anything. Just force a habit. I can almost feel the engine braking happening when I shift, even though it's not actually happening. I can't get this triple in, but I don't think we need it. To be honest. We might need it. Just need to run a clean lap. This is stressful. This is very stressful. It's not a good whoops run, but it's okay. Good sand run. Slowing down for corners, man, is so hard. Ah, oh, there's like a... I think I need to reset the track. There's like a messed up rut in that corner. 59.6. All right, I think we can do this. Let me reset the track. We need to run a 1.7 second quicker lap time to get in the 57s. I think it's doable. Need to hit the big line though. I, I do think we have to do that. We have to hit the quad line. All right, decent so far, not amazing. Quad into this outside. Ripple. Quad. Scrub this. I didn't even make that much time, if any. I have to go. We have to go middle rut or inside there. I think the best thing we can do is go inside. Before we hit the quad. It's like you could make an argument for this to be an aerial 450. Maybe if they banned alpha mapping. That might be the only thing that would make it more OP. We got inside of there. That's going to give us good time. I don't want to go for this quad out, but... I don't know if I can do it. I've never actually... Com Hit the entire quad before. Come on. Holy crap. We go outside the line here. She got the quad. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, bro, it's so easy to lose the back. Oh, man, it's freaking tough. Come on, baby. Oh, I see one smooth lap. Oh. Quad is pretty easy. Nope. Just that freaking oh man.
Bro, I hate that corner. Bruh, dude, this back end, dude, oh my god. This back end literally is no traction when you're accelerating. Oh my goodness, what is happening? In that one corner, too, it just freaking slides. Come on. I'm going outside, I don't care. Cut this way, scrub this, scrub this. I keep shifting, it doesn't actually do anything, Troy. Oh man. This is where the money's made right here. Smooth throttle control. Brick. 57.8, boys. We did it. That's pretty good, dude. Not bad. Pretty good. Not not too bad. It is definitely more overpowered. I mean, the fact that I can just hop on it and run a time like that. 57.8 is a pretty good time. So, yeah. Starkvarg. It's a fun bike. The alpha <laughs> mapping is definitely OP. But I feel like if they just banned alpha mapping, like integrated that into the server manager or whatever the hell, however they do it. Um, I think this bike, honestly, I feel like they should allow it in 450. I mean, there needs to be more testing to see if there's anything broken with it, but it's not that OP. It still takes skill to ride, but I think in its current state, yeah, it's definitely a bit, it's definitely a bit over the top. But yeah, see you guys next video.